Hey traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is for CNBC's Trading Nation. Traders, we're gonna go to work in Apple here. Apple's showing some pretty good relative strength in this pretty good pocket of volatility we're seeing here. So I'd like to go ahead and scoop up some Apple in the options market ahead of the, the overall market potentially stabilizing. Uh, we're seeing uh, this push, this rush into our old friends, the FANG stocks here, and I see that trend continuing into the end of the year. So let's go ahead, put some option trades to work in Apple. Apple, by the way, potentially reaching up around $200 in the next several months. So let's dive in. So here's Apple on the daily chart. And as you can see, we've been in a, obviously a very, very strong uptrend even before 2017, beginning back here in summer of 16. So if we can kind of quantify this uptrend and do a parallel channel, so we're gonna take that line right there and we are going to do our best parallel line, kind of defining the upper resistance zone. And as we connect to the outer uh, swing point here in the summer, you can see that the line will intersect price at its current rate of ascent, possibly around 200. So it looks like we've got a very nice move going on here on Apple, um, and we should be able to connect with that upper boundary line. And at that point, technically speaking, we would be considered overbought. But for now, we can use that as an upside target. So we're not gonna put a trade on, try to capture $25 an Apple, which would be about 12%. Let's take it a couple steps at a time. So for now, what I'd like to do is go out to the December monthly options that are expiring on the 15, 37 days from the time that I'm recording this video. We're gonna go ahead and buy the $180 call. That is just about $4 outside of the money. We're gonna pair that up with the sale of the 185 call. So all together here, that is gonna cost us about $1.23 or $123 per option spread that you're trading. So 123 is the max risk on this trade. Potential upside reward, if we were to get just up to that 185 strike, would be $377. So let's go ahead and put that trade to work. Okay, and that trade is now working. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a 50% stop loss on there. So if $1.23 is approximately what you paid, let's go ahead and stop out at the trade at about 61 or 62 cents of premium remaining, which would be half back to contain the risk on Apple. That is the setup in Apple, guys. We are, as I said, in a period of volatility, so be sure to adhere to your stop loss, contain that risk on this trade. Otherwise, we should be able to reach that upper end of the trend channel. So. For CNBC's Trading Nation, I'm Todd Gordon. Good luck on that trade. Be sure to follow us at Trading Nation on the Twitter for updates to this trade, as well as all the other markets and positions. Our traders are watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video update. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.